Hi, my name is Giles Summerwell. I've been working at Earth Science Partnership for almost 20 years, and I developed my career alongside the CLR reports and advances in guidance of the early 2000s. I'm now a chartered geologist and specialist in land condition. The industrial heritage of the UK has left a legacy of previously developed land, and developments on such sites is increasing due to new initiatives in planning policy, emerging remediation technology, and advances in experience and understanding as to how the long-term residual risks can be managed. It's important to understand the potential hazards and land condition of sites affected by contamination, as well as the mechanisms occurring and interaction with the critical receptors of the current or intended land use. This is achieved with a contaminated land risk assessment. A fundamental first step is to undertake a desk-based study, sometimes called a phase one risk assessment. This includes researching data sources on site history, former developments and environmental databases to assess contamination potential for the study site and also its surrounds. This stage is normally accompanied by a site walkover to pick up any features which may not have been apparent from a desk-based review. The desk study will inform the preliminary conceptual model which sets out plausible linkages between pollutants and receptors and this is used to inform the design of intrusive site investigation where the preliminary model is tested and the actual land condition data is collected. The site investigation will include exploratory investigation such as trial pits or boreholes and will include sampling and testing in soil, leachate, water and gaseous phases when appropriate. On receipt of this data, the conceptual model is updated and the pollutant linkages are re-evaluated. This stage will normally result in a refinement of the key hazards and inform targeted and supplementary investigation and data collection. Limitations and uncertainties are always made transparent and are reviewed at each risk assessment stage. Once the site is deemed appropriately characterised and the data set on lithologies and contamination status is considered suitably robust, then tiered risk assessments are undertaken to evaluate the degree of contamination hazard present. These may include initial screening against generic published guidelines or development of site-specific target levels for soil or controlled waters. When required, we will make recommendations for and undertake remedial action which will either reduce the contamination source potential or interrupt the pathway between the hazard and the critical receptors at risk. ESP have extensive experience and have undertaken the contaminated land risk assessment process for numerous different sites, from dockland, petrol filling stations, landfill, industrial facilities and legacy land. We work with accredited laboratories to ensure efficient turnaround and accurate analysis and are experienced in utilising software modelling programmes such as SURFA, the Environment Agency RTMs and CLEAR when appropriate. ESP's approach to contaminated land risk assessment proves cost effective and reduces remediation requirements to ensure stakeholder resources are only invested to address the critical hazards identified. Cost benefit reviews at each stage can often support this. Our service is tailored to suit individual site needs and regulatory requirements and for examples of previous contaminated land risk assessment projects, please visit the projects and technical section of our website. If you would like to know more about contaminated land risk assessment, get in touch and one of our specialists will discuss your requirements with you.